as for me, in justice I shall behold your face. I shall be filled with the vision of your glory. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. We commemorate today as we join the Carmelites as we celebrate the memorial of Our Lady of Mount Carmel. And so to prepare hearts and minds to celebrate this Eucharist, let us acknowledge our human weakness and seek God's mercy and forgiveness. I confess to Almighty, Almighty God, God and to and you, you, my, my brothers, brothers and sisters, that, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in, in what I have done and in what I have, what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, therefore I ask the Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. May the venerable intercession of the glorious Virgin Mary come to our aid, we pray, O Lord, so that fortified by her protection, we may reach the mountain which is Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of Exodus. Moses and Aaron worked many wonders in the presence of Pharaoh. But the Lord made Pharaoh's heart stubborn, and he did not let the sons of Israel leave his country. The Lord said to Moses and Aaron in the land of Egypt, This month is to be the first of all the others for you the first month of your year. Speak to the whole community of Israel and say, on the tenth day of this month, each man must take an animal from the flock, one for each family, one animal for each household. If the household is too small to eat the animal, a man must join with his neighbor, the nearest to his house, as the number of persons requires. You must take into account what each one can eat in deciding the number for the animal. It must be an animal without blemish, a male one year old. You may take it from either sheep or goats. You must keep it till the 14th day of the month when the whole assembly of the community of Israel shall slaughter it between the two evenings. Some of the blood must then be taken and put on the two door posts and the lintel of the houses where it is eaten. That night, the flesh is to be eaten, roasted over the fire. It must be eaten with unleavened bread and bitter herbs. Do not eat any of it raw or boiled, but roasted over the fire, head, feet, and entrails. 
you must not leave any over till the morning. Whatever is left till morning, you are to burn. You shall eat it like this, with a girdle round your waist, sandals on your feet, a staff in your hand. You shall eat it hastily. It is a Passover in honour of the Lord. That night, I will go through the land of Egypt and strike down all the firstborn in the land of Egypt, man and beast alike. And I shall deal out punishment to all the gods of Egypt. I am the Lord. The blood shall serve to mark the houses that you live in. When I see the blood, I will pass over you, and you shall escape the destroying plague when I strike the land of Egypt. This day is to be a day of remembrance for you, and you must celebrate it as a feast in the Lord's honour. For all generations, you are to declare it a day of festival forever. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. The cup of salvation I will raise. I will call on the Lord's name. The, the cup, cup of, of salvation, salvation I will raise. I will call, call on the Lord's, Lord's name. How can I repay the Lord for his goodness to me? The cup of salvation I will raise. I will call on the Lord's name. The, the cup, cup of, of salvation, salvation I will raise. raise. I will Lord call on the Lord's name. name. O precious in the eyes of the Lord is the death of him. I will call on the Lord's name. Alleluia. 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 Instruct me, Lord, in your way. On an even path, lead me. Alleluia. 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 The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory, Glory to, to you, O Lord. Lord. Jesus took a walk one Sabbath day through the cornfields. His disciples were hungry and began to pick ears of corn and eat them. The Pharisees noticed it and said to him, Look, your disciples are doing something that is forbidden on the Sabbath. But he said to them, Have you not read what David did when he and his followers were hungry? How he went into the house of God and how they ate the loaves of offering, which neither he nor his followers were allowed to eat, but which were for the priests alone. Or again, have you not read in the law that on the Sabbath day, the temple priests break the Sabbath without being blamed for it? Now here, I tell you, is something greater than the temple. And if you had understood the meaning of the words, what I want is mercy, not sacrifice, you would not have condemned the blameless. For the Son of Man is a master of the Sabbath. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to, to you, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. The past days 
as we draw close to this week, we've been looking at how we find ourselves with God's mission, God's purpose, God's invitation to the vineyard. God's plan working in our life. And I believe deep down in, in all of us, there is this earnest desire to ask ourselves, how do I accomplish this? How do I act out this God's mission in my life? How do I fulfill the purpose and plan of God in my life? What is it that I need to do to accomplish and to do the will of God in my life? God's mission. I find this many a times within my life and in the lives of people that I encounter. There is a sense of wrestling. There's a wrestle in us between what we have to do and what we end up doing. In spirituality, we use this phrase, working for God and doing God's work. The moments we wrestle with ourselves, working for God and doing God's work. What is it that fulfills the purpose and the mission that entails in God's plan? You find this in the readings today. Jesus was helping and assisting to enlighten the Pharisees and the scribes to understand this in a clearer way. For the Pharisees, scribes, and the Jewish of the time of Jesus, for them it was the Passover, it was the Sabbath. It is what we call the identity tag in their lives. You find this in the first reading the book of Exodus. The whole string and the litany of rituals and rites and observances that one has to, to live with, to fulfill. And for them it was everything and everything in life. And that is why when the disciples of Jesus began to pick the ears of the corn and it troubled the Pharisees and the scribes, and they said, how could you do this on a Sabbath? You're not working for God. You're not even doing God's work. How could you do this? You're working on a Sabbath. And Jesus said, very simply, in just one line, Hosea 6.6, 6, what I want is mercy, not sacrifice. What I want is mercy, not sacrifice. It simply is that whatever that drives us, that pushes us in our work, in our relationship with God, is always to see in the context of a relationship with others. Because the danger is sometimes you and I may be caught in the rituals and the rites of the church, in our faith. You know, I struggle with this sometimes with friends. Father, do I eat meat on Friday? Is it a sin? Do I need to fast one hour before Mass? Is it okay now, Father, for me to take communion? We are caught in this well and done. We are caught with the Sabbath. We are caught with the rituals and the rites. Yes, it's okay. But the Lord asks us to step beyond that because what I want is mercy. What I want is the face of God in a relationship because there are those who are hungry, just like today's gospel, who maybe broke the rituals. And Jesus says, Love, compassion, and mercy is what I need. It's a relationship to allow them to see the face of God, the mercy of God in one another. In the evening of our lives, we will only be judged by love, St. John the Cross. And I believe that is what shapes us in the journey of our faith. And Moses saw this, Yahweh saw this yesterday, and he cried out in this mercy, and he sent Moses to deliver them out of that bondage and out of that slavery. They are those who are stuck in the midst. And all we do is to give them that mercy. What I want is mercy, not sacrifice. Hosea 6.6 6.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, to your goodness we have this bread to offer which earth is given in human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed, Blessed be God, God forever. forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, to your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the wine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed, Blessed be, be God, God forever. forever. Pray, my dear sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May, may the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Look upon the offerings of the church, O Lord, as she makes a prayer to you, and grant that when consumed by those who believe, they may bring ever greater holiness. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift, lift them, them up to, to the, the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy. Through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Saviour and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with angels and saints we declare your glory and with one voice we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread. In giving you thanks, Father, he broke it. He gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. 
Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Sebastian, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember our sisters and brothers who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her husband, the Blessed Apostles, with Saints Faustina and John Paul II, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life to praise, to glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our, Our Father, who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy, thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to the apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not in our sins upon the fate of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with, with your spirit. We we'll take a moment to offer that peace to one another. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let the body and the blood of Christ. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood remains in me and I in them, says the Lord.
Let us pray. Having consumed these gifts, we pray, O Lord, that by our participation in this mystery, its saving effects upon us may grow. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with your, your spirit. spirit. And may the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ, glorifying the Lord by your lives. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. Prayer for all. God, our merciful Father, source of healing, cast the light, the light of health, of health and, well and well-being on, on those who have, have been exposed to, to coronavirus, those who have contracted the disease. Bless, bless them, them, protect, protect them, them, and bring them speedily to full recovery. Source of life, grant public health and government officials the strength to act swiftly and decisively with compassion and understanding in service to humankind, fighting this outbreak, threatening the lives of our brothers and sisters, nations and communities, young and old. God of the present moment, bring hope and courage to all who wait or work in uncertainty. Bring hope that you will make them the equal of whatever lies ahead. We pray all this in the mighty name of Jesus, through the intercession of our blessed Mother Mary. Amen. Have a blessed day and stay safe. Same to you, Father.